Oh yeah, here we go. What's up, people? Pacebreaker here, and welcome back to the live streams over on Twitch and YouTube. So, I know I didn't finish Infamous Second Son. I didn't finish Dark Souls Two Definitive Edition. But I got a whole new game uh, this past holiday season. Something I've been meaning to play for the longest. I was waiting for it to go on sale. I know. So, Marvel Spider-Man for the PlayStation 4. And I've already been playing some. I've made quite a bit of progress. Almost halfway through the main story. So, what I'm going to do for this is we're going to do some catch-up. And we'll get caught up to where I am in that playthrough. And then we'll carry on from there. So... Let's go ahead and start this bad boy up. Uh, we are going to pick our settings. So this is going to be, you know, just casual mode. You know, two and a half weeks or something since I last played. I can change my difficulty uh, later, so we're good. So I'm going to sw switch this to headphones for me. So I can hear and try and be as stealthy as possible. Thank you for having the ability to like do all this stuff already as soon as you're starting the game. Although I really should try and adjust the sound here. Because it is still fairly loud. And I don't think I can do that here. This is all, you know, uh, for if you have... Um, hearing or visual trouble and that's not exactly me yet anyway let's start and then when we can I will pause and we'll start adjusting our volume levels because I know that was loud and no doubt we're probably gonna get hit with copyright and you know get some content IDs here it doesn't matter I stopped monetizing these videos a long time ago it's more about having people come check this stuff out. And yes, the subtitles are on because I'm going to be talking and throwing my standard flair of dry wit and humor in there. So, it's what you do. Huh. I know I picked a bad time to start. It's 9 o'clock in the evening here. Meaning elsewhere, it's going to be however whichever o'clock it's like over on the eastern hemisphere or whatnot it's freaking morning actually i think it's about afternoon now hello how you doing nearly 4 a.m in the uk yeah <laughs> i want to try and stream on a decent schedule but there's no uh there's no guaranteeing that so a little bit of background i am a spider-man fan Spider-Man is actually my favorite Marvel Comics hero. Yeah, I was really big into Spider-Man growing up. Uh, I was a big fan of the 90s animated series. Uh, the Raimi films I thought were pretty good. Um, I've only seen half of Spider-Man 3, though. I know, I know, I gotta, I gotta fix that. I haven't seen the Amazing films either. What? Yeah. But I did see Spider-Man Homecoming. Still need to see Far From Home. Then you're not a true Spider-Man fan. Uh, yeah, that's not what... That doesn't constitute that. Y'all can stop. So. It's time to get to... Yeah, in case anybody wasn't aware. Yeah, Spider-Man's... Uh, he's a prodigy. He's a, uh, a tech genius. He's a gadgeteer genius type. This is what he does. You know, all of his stuff is high tech. This is why Tony Stark doted on him. Not just in the MCU movies, but in the comics. So we'll be streaming for a couple hours. Oh, hello, New York. Whip and release. 
to it and release. Actually played the uh, the games I, that were based off of the Raimi movies. I guess Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2 on like PS2. Never played them. I know. What does that say about me, dude? Like I said, I grew up in the 90s, so I played a bunch of crappy Spider-Man games. very fluid like the combat the the maneuvering it feels so good this is basically yeah I'm pretty sure a lot of people have said it's like um, it's like an Arkham game but with spider-man I really should have paused and adjusted the audio oops They say they're working on a sequel to this too. I am excited. So very likely that will be on PS5. All the more reason for me to pick that up. Eventually. Because I'm not getting it when, it first com when the console is released. Well. What a way to make an interest, huh? Look at the stuff that you can't do yet. Okay, that was sick. Oh man, I'm so used to the other bit of combat. So let's see how that goes going from like a new game into this other one whoa they brought reinforcements oh no stick around ow jerk okay yeah I know well that's the thing we're still in tutorial mode here Oh, they, this game is very immersive. I'll say that. They want you to be Spider-Man. They reward you for playing more like how Spider-Man would do. So if anything, you spend less time on the ground like Batman and instead more time in the air. You know, you're zipping around. It's very frenetic. It's very fast paced. So let me see if I can adjust my audio here. I'm not gonna lie, I don't appreciate the fact that yeah, the audio is way the hell up there. So we'll leave the sound at about an eight. Sound effects will pull down to about maybe a five. And we'll pull the master volume down to about a seven, I think. The JJ podcast we wanna keep on. Now tell me if this sounds any better. Okay, yeah, I can tell it's already a lot more quiet. I can probably turn the music back up. Just a, just like a bar or two. Yeah, because I, I want you guys to kind of hear the music too. The music's very dynamic and superhero-y and all that. So, yeah. yeah. So we can probably bump that back up to here. Sound effects could probably get pulled back. Yeah. Uh, uh, 
Okay, that sounds a bit more smooth to me, but that's me. And my ears aren't exactly the best. I did see Spider-Verse though, for, oh right, I was about to say, for those of you who follow my social media, no, I didn't post anything about it, and not that many people actually do follow it. And go be Spider-Man? Yeah. So... And the QTEs are also integrated into the cinematics and stuff here. It, it's really fluid. I know, it sounds like, it sounds so overdone. You know, it's really fluid. It's very immersive. And it's like, but that's, that's it. That's the only way that I can actually describe it. Is like, yeah, it's. And here we go. So since we're just starting, they're going to give us the tutorial stuff. So, yeah, so then boom, you build up your combo meter and, uh, uh, you know, and you gain focus. This allows you to access super moves. So then you get like finishers so you can insta take down enemies or you can activate uh, suit powers when you unlock them. So it's not just doing combat stuff, not just fighting, but doing Spider-Man things like using your web shooters, zipping around, doing like some really cool stuff, you know? So yeah, get those webs in there. Don't be afraid to press the triangle button. I think you can, yeah, you can actually rebind uh, your buttons so you can do whatever no see look my focus bar filled up dramatically yeah so you want to keep moving this way they can't hit you because there are enemies with all sorts of guns and and stuff and it's like no oh no I forgot what it's like to have the basic web shooters like the basic settings oh god ow I got shot what okay, so then you use some of your focus mirror to heal as well so that's the other reason why you want to be as spider-man as possible Ow! Oh, sorry. Damn! Yep. I, he, that's all right. It's also kind of hard for them to hit you when you're. Oh, don't worry about this. He. If you actually pay close attention to like the animations, you'll see that Spider-Man actually puts a line on an enemy while they're in the air. So if they fall, they end up getting like pinned to uh, to the wall of wherever they fell from. So don't worry about throwing people off of buildings. Ah, it's time for the wall crawl segment, huh? God, I couldn't do this. I'm claustrophobic. Okay, so let's see what we do here. We drop down, boom. Yeah, 
So you also level up and you have skill trees. Not as bad as Path of Exile, thank goodness, but uh, yeah. Ooh, launch that guy. So circle is your dodge button. You know, so you want to use that to get around and do what you can. So L2 and R2 will get you up there. Let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can jump down here. What are we doing now? Spire sense. Well, it's not actually spire sense, but yeah. Have a second. Yep. It's been a minute since I did this part, so I really don't remember nothing. Let's see. Wait, there's still dudes up here? See, that's what I thought. I had to go up. What? That's just not helpful. That's just not... Come on now. Oh. Oh, hello. How you doing? There we go. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to use your webbing if you don't want to. Check this out. Boom, get all cinematic with it. Super spy style. Now you don't run away. I like doing air combos. So yeah, you don't have to use your webs uh, if you don't want to, but it's helpful. You really want to get in there and just like give them the, the old Spider-Man special. I say, even though I'm actually mediocre at combat, but you definitely want to save those finishers for like guys with guns and stuff and just like really just... as you can see so ah right so point a man and then by clicking R3, you know, clicking the right stick in, you get like detective mode, kind of. Shh. Sleep. Well, he's actually not asleep, but yeah. So I can't help but. Nice! I actually managed to get it right this time. Ah. And it also doesn't hurt to swing things at people. At least they don't have me doing like a hacking mini game. So yeah, don't be afraid to throw enemies. Ah, yeah. Whoa, hold on. Bro. Okay, I'm gonna need you to like chill out with this stuff. Come on. You shorter you can. Okay, so let's try and heal a bit. Yeah, you wanna, like I said, do your spider things. 
so you can heal or be able to heal. And then here come people. Huh. Gotta be fast. Yep. So, webbing is also a good deterrent. And if you can actually get an enemy close to a wall or the ground, you can actually hit them with the webbing, boom, and into the stick. So, they automatically counts as a takedown, incapacitates them, and allows you to move on. Which will definitely be helpful when you're dealing with guys like them. Alright. Well, you are a hero. That sound a whole lot more muffled now that I have the volume down like that. QTE time. So here we go. Hey, you gotta do those heroics. Spider-Man asks, do you even lift, bro? Okay, But I want to drop down. Oh no, RPG guys. Can't swing him. Need to invest in skill trees later. I wish. But there's a way to like kick the rockets back once you get high enough in the skill tree. See, look at it. auto incapacitated. There's the other one coming from. No. Oh, that was a bad idea. So then, yeah, you start, uh, you start kind of getting used to it. Oh, shit. <laughs> that is on you, my friend. You blew yourself up, too. Good job. Stop Spider-Man at all costs. <laughs> That's going to happen a lot during this playthrough. So, R2 is also going to be your do stuff button as you run and maneuver no you don't so then you can ricochet by like aiming towards a wall and all that and doing the cool stuff like I said so you want to stay airborne that was my first mistake not being airborne I'll try knocking him he's in there and then do like air combos you get a skill later uh, that you can well that you can unlock. Do more combo uh, air combos. Do more damage to enemies and stuff. It's pretty good. Definitely something that you would want to get if you're into air combos like me. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Yeah, you can't do that yet. 
And you can't do that yet. Oh god, the stupid shield enemies. Uh, really, Pete? Square, circle, pop up hit. Another way to. So, yeah, web them up, hit them. Simple as that. That's that be Spider Man. Look at that. See? That already locked him up. Uh, hit him with a roundhouse to the back of the head. Yeah, he ain't getting up. I got a little too hyped, my bad. Ah, the kingpin. I really need to pull out the voice cast for this. You'd be surprised how many people actually forget that. doing oh oh that's bulletproof glass isn't it why does that sound like Travis Willingham I think it is so, fuck sake it feels so wrong not being able to do what I do Nope. So I was trying to. Yeah, I should just let me do it like just the two little hits. I'm Spider Man. So, he is a brute type. So, yeah. Just so you know, you cannot hit him until you've, like, webbed him up. Also, throw stuff at him. Throw stuff at him and keep moving. For the love of God, keep moving. Because he does not adhere to the normal rules he will constantly hit you like he will hit you fast I also he hits hard very very hard don't you run from me uh, well don't you run towards me but like I said you wanna stay airborne Careful, don't get greedy. This is the dumbest game of tag ever. Oh crap, uh, no, 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 no. Doesn't he get winded, Jesus? Here we go, QTE. I think, right? You know, he's got like his limit. You now, there's a certain number of hits that you can do on him before you move on. <sighs> okay, now here's the deal. This was the part that got me killed several times. So you have to not only deal with the kingpin, but you also have to deal with his boys. And it's like, nope, 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 nope. 
So where's the dude with the gun? Because you know there's a dude with the gun. A second, yeah. Right, I can't uh, throw the dude. He's going to throw. And then you can also slow time down for a little bit with uh, the L2 button. I thought, oh. yeah, you don't want him to hit you. Definitely don't want him to hit you. Jesus Christ, you are an asshole, aren't you? Keep an eye on him, keep an eye on him. Wilson, you have been a very naughty boy. Mother disapproves. Sure. But why am I beating your ass right now? Vincent D'Onofrio was actually a really good kingpin. I say so people don't give that man enough credit. Throw it back, him right in the face. Careful. What the? Oh crap! He's going for the backbreaker already. All right, that's one way you don't tap. Instead, you just press at the right time. Yeah, these are going to come up quite a bit. More dynamic. Uh, QTEs. When I could just do that myself, I would love to be able to, but that's fine. As we manage this, and I didn't die! Huzzah! Awesome! I didn't actually die this time. Well, I guess that's what happens when you finally get used to the flow of combat for about half the, uh, half the story I guess or at least 50% of the content in the game and there is DLC I haven't touched it yet but we will in due time this ain't one of those PlayStation Plus deals I actually own this so Sure. Don't drop the soap. Bam, I just got a level. Booyah. So, now we get health increase. And now you can pull up your skill tree by pressing the touchpad button. So, the thing that a lot of stuff, um, a lot of guides and such will tell you is, well, go for the web, uh, the web slinger tree. And you definitely would want to do that. Uh, eventually, I mean, hell, I'm pretty sure, like, the high up you get, I think there's a level cap, but for the most part, it's, it's fine. You'll, you'll get there. 
so this yeah i want this but i'm not going to be able to get to it yet um not for a while because i actually do want to go into the web slinger tree i'm going to guess that the defender tree basically ends up being more like uh what was it uh royal guard uh the royal guard style in devil may cry 3 where then you have like these perfect dodges and stuff you get like the the perfect timing for it and you just get to do like ridiculous shit to people but this is what we're doing so I'll press and hold and you end up getting this so now you can get to take a look at your moves here and find out what you can do yep so the more things that you do the more stuff will be listed here in case you need a refresher you'll be able to see what you're doing it's like here boom now this will show you what you're doing of course there's the DLCs so one concerning black cat and one concerning hammerhead and one involving silver stable and then this is the freaking map yeah this is all of New York but we'll get to that soon enough missions are currently unavailable because well storyline hasn't exactly gone there yet now for those of you familiar with the character enough to know that spider-man has been spider-man since age 15 as of this game he's currently 23 so yeah he's been around for eight years doing the spider thing and well people like him and of course you know people like J. John Jameson don't they think that he is a total menace of course let's go boom and we start again oops The other thing they'll tell you, well, some might, just hold down R2 and the game will practically play itself. Well, at least while you're in the air. So you do this and this helps you to get like more speed. Trust me, you're going to need it because there's going to be chases and stuff and time limits on things. So you want to get as fast as possible. So like web zips, uh, point launches, yeah, you know, like boosting off of things and it's just like hell yeah dude like there's achievements for that too gain like massive uh, speed boosts and height and all that really cool stuff and there's also other things like little landmarks and uh, and stuff to come check out oh yep no no there we go that is going to take some getting used to. What do you mean take, it takes some time to get used to? Hey. <laughs> Sometimes you get a little too used to the speed and the momentum that you kind of forget. Oh, right. I'm supposed to be going somewhere in particular. I have to stop. Starting is not the problem. Stopping is. So here we go. Work. Does that look familiar to you? Not yet. See, this is how things happen in some of the other things. Because you didn't know when to say when. Well, that's too bad. We're making progress. 
progress on what? Well, we'll talk about that in a minute. We gotta run this trope as well. He had been there earlier. Eh, no, it's still likely that this would have happened anyway. So, yes, at certain points in the game, you also get to play as Peter Parker. So, let's walk up to here and let's. Mess us up. Hmm. All right. Science. So we get to mess with this tablet. Hopefully, there's nothing not safe for work on here. Hmm. It's time for puzzles. So, circuitry puzzles. It's all about seeing the pattern and knowing what it is that you can and can't do it yet. Okay, so let's see here. So, what you're trying to do is go from here, this starting point, and then put enough of these in the right order in order to get to here, the end point. So, they give you several different pieces that you can use. So you want to try and complete this circuit. If you just screw up, you can just hover over it and press the square button to remove. Yeah. And then we'll just rotate this this way. And there we go. Get used to this because this is going to be a recurring thing. So then here we go with this. So there are certain circuit pieces that only move in one direction. Man, I think my dad would actually have liked this, uh, this part here. Uh, he was an electronics technician. But at the same time, I think he probably would have been kind of mad. <laughs> Just a little bit like, this is not real. Like, this is very unrealistic. This would not work like this. Just like this, with my dumb, dumb self. Okay, so let me do this. Pull this off of here. We're going to need that straight piece. Then we're going to put another one of these, and that's not going to work that way. But will this... I think it will. Yes. So try and look at the flow. Pay attention to the arrows and figure out where this stuff is going. It's what one of my old audio engineering uh, teachers was telling me. Signal path is all about where you uh, where you're coming from and where you're going. So, this shouldn't be too difficult. Um, and that, and then just one more straight piece. Boom. Oh, if only that was that simple. Realistically, yeah, no, you still have more things. To do. It's not that simple like that. But that's fine. So now we have a voltage uh, test. So. Each piece that you will be using has a positive charge and a negative charge. You want to try and match the number up there on the right hand side at the top. So as you can see, we have one plus one part, uh, a couple of plus twos, and then one minus one. So they only fit in their respective slots. Let's see what we do. So then if we do like this, 
we use this, then we do this, that's three. But we still actually have to finish the circuit here. Finished. Done. I like little puzzles like that. So all three of those are done. And these are actually fairly simple to, of course, introduce you to the concept because you're going to need to use it quite a bit. So now you can use the stick to up and down. Now you got your full range of motion. Yeah. So in case you didn't know, or just for clarity, yeah, Dr. Otto Octavius, before he became Dr. Octopus, spoiler, I mean, for those of you who don't know, um, yeah, he was working on prosthetics, at least in this uh, continuity. So, yeah, that's pretty freaking cool. Uh, I was so used to prosthetics basically being like, you know, like a mannequin arm or whatever, you know, instead of, you know, like something else. Uh, like now we have like, you know, like the proper robotics tests and stuff. And it's like, wow, you can do that. Like the stuff actually ends up having like power to it. And like, just, it's, it's freaking amazing. It really is. Science is wonderful. So, let's try and do that as well as maintain the target voltage. Okay. And then one more. Boom. One to one. And around for flavor text and all that. It's like this, there's a recorder here. Oh, if only there was some way that somebody else could be Spider-Man and he could continue to live his life. Wait a second. I think I missed this one. Yeah, see, then there's that thinking that there might be another way. This is how you end up with them damn mechanical arms doing shit, dude. No. Alright. Time for some more science. So, your goal is to identify the unknown substance by its absorption spectrum. Use fragments of the unknown substance to try to match up the absorption lines in the spectrum. Use the left analog stick to move your cursor. Press the X button to pick up a fragment. Okay, so let's see if we can match these patterns. Place the fragment into an available slot to try and match up the absorption lines. So, boop, 
And that's not it. Nope, no. That's not accurate. How about this? No, not accurate. How about this then? Accurate. Then this, because that's simple as one bar. And then this one right here is that one. Boop. Analyzing. Substance identified. Hydrogel polymer composite. Hmm. I've, I was totally into science growing up. Um, you know, I did well in science for uh, grade school, elementary and middle school, all the way up until like eighth grade. After that, um, yeah, no, because we didn't really do much else uh, where I went to school. It's just like, eh, here we go, periodic table, you know, using a sentence, this, that, and that. It, uh, it, was, it was dumb. Damn, charter school. Whatever, I wanted to lay low because shit got difficult. Would I have continued on? Oh, hell no. No. But you say that there's more spectrograph stuff for me to mess with. Can I, can I do it and get XP or no? Yes. Yes, I can. Sweet. So, yeah. You might want to try to get a, a, as much XP as possible early. The plot will also give you experience points, you know, and uh, some side questing and all that. So let's see what we got here. Huh? Uh huh. And then this one down here. Boop. So that's 200 XP. And then let's try this other one. Huh. Alright, let's send out this one. Some unknown substances require multiple fragments to be stacked in a column. If two absorption lines overlap, they combine into a thicker absorption line. Yep. And then there's another one that's like that, that actually does the negative. So then it takes away, and it's like, what? So let's see, we're going to put this, and then we'll put this one, and then that, not that one, she, see, yeah, no, so this is wrong, let's see, let's grab you, and then the, Damn it. I actually did this one before. I still don't remember it. A second. Nope. I don't need it to be double thick. We need it to be. Du I'm, I'm double thick. <laughs> Not dummy thick, double thick. God, what in the world is wrong with me? Yeah, I need new glasses also, because, God, my eyes are just like, what is this? What are you doing? I don't know. Also, that sounds super creepy. Yeah, let's never do that again. And then, wait a second. There's, there's a bar here. Nope. One second. Just going to fix this. So we used an F'd up. Okie dokie. There are three bars there. We have to fix this somehow. Mm -mm. It's one more than necessary. Things do not add up like they should. Those don't go there. So then what about this? Those go there. And then what about you? It's like one of you so this isn't right either. I figured that one out. Trial and error. That's science. I have no idea what that is. 
that's the thing it's not just oh okay and then it's it's fitted onto the body and it's like oh okay no no we're going into neuroscience as well so then you can use the neurons and you know the impulses the same way that you would be able to move a muscle you can actually do with the prosthesis allowing it to move the fingers and the joints and everything and like science is amazing damn it <laughs> like dude we've come a long way from way way back it's like no you just had to hobble around you know you got a crutch or you had to sit in a wheelchair or whatever it's like no you don't have to anymore that's freaking awesome like seriously, like if you haven't seen um, people running marathons or competing in track and field, and we've got like the blades, you know, it's like, damn, dude, like we've come a long way from how uh, how prosthetic legs used to be. Like you can actually live an active, athletic lifestyle. You know, it's like awesome. Huh. Yeah, so as you can see from that tooltip, there's going to be tokens for, uh, excuse me. <clears throat> yeah, so there's going to be tokens that you can use in order to mess around with your, uh, your gear. So no, I haven't actually continued to read the books. So let's tune into the podcast. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, those are definitely worth listening to. That's why I didn't say anything. <laughs> All right. So, more plot. And this will also help open things up. We don't talk about that.
So, hey, let's get into some, uh, yeah, this is kind of like, uh, with the, uh, oh hell, I forgot what it's called, the, uh, the sequencer. So, you shift the height of the wavelengths with uh, the right stick and the width of it with the left stick. A second, and you hold it until you get the pattern right. Well, get the pattern right, hold for like a couple seconds, and bam, system's up. Try and be stealthy here. You get bonus points for uh, for being stealthy, you know? Seriously, that was a lot of dudes. Of course, I want me a web strike now. Yeah. So then, uh, boom. Really. So, yeah, get slide under the whoa, holy crap. Good job, guys. So, you know, you can maintain a combo as long as you don't get hit. So, as you go through, you'll see there's other ones that'll have objectives. <laughs> Peter, why? Hey, he's got to cope with all the uh, all the negative crap somehow. Is all that necessary? I think just two people would be enough. Get away from her. Spider Man is on the case. That's where that swing kick came in. So dealing with these guys, man. Ugh. I hate dealing with the brutes. Cause like then you have to have that spatial awareness. And then these guys don't just as soon as they hit you with a swing, like they're ready to do it again. So your best bet is to Jesus Christ, that was a one two. Whoa. I can really use some focus. Oh, hey, I actually got him stuck to the thing. Yeah, so try and position them to something. So I'll move the left stick, and then as soon as you can, bam. So yeah, they get kind of dynamic with uh, with using your. Uh,
it, yeah. That's how it is. Uh, you know, hard times, but hey, keep your head up. But yeah, the Spire Cop dialogue keeps up uh, as you're doing each of these towers. There's a bunch of them. There's one in each district. So now, boom, opening up more and more of this map. And also, now we can start seeing some other things. You wanna see what I mean? Check this out. Look, so you see all of these little dots, and hell, as far as I can tell, this is all nothing but uh, cell phones, Wi-Fi hotspots, um, laptops, you know, uh, smartphones, TVs, you know, stuff like that. Like, all these moving little dots. Yeah, this is all freaking New York, dude. And like, all of it. Like, <laughs> shoot. You are just out here hitting all the districts. You know, um, it's a lot to cover, but you can get there pretty fast. Um, I'm gonna, I want to give you a slight spoiler. There's also fast travel. Just in case you don't feel like uh, web slinging from uh, from like the the lower east side to the uh, to like the north side. All right, so let's go over to this thing. Because what is this green beacon that is calling to us? Whoa, okay, Pete, calm down. Like I said, sometimes it's about stabbing. So, let's see what this is. So, let's take a look. Yep, there's a lot of these. In other words, collectibles. So there's a lot of side uh, side things for you to check out. So like I said, every district has its own thing. Every district will have its own tower and it will also have its own backpacks. Um, there's going to be, um, I'm gonna spoil this too. There's also going to be landmarks. So you can stop and take photos of all these, uh, these places that are actual locations in New York. It's really freaking awesome. They, there's a lot of attention to detail. Uh, so let's uh, let's see. What else do I get here? What's the second time I looked out to air uh, taxi? And then, uh, then you can do like additional aerial tricks and gain some more stuff here. Uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna work on those later. For now, I kind of want this other stuff. Because then I can, like, snag an enemy and, like, do more stuff to them. Swing kick, will do that to them. That blast off one will be good. Yeah. Hmm. Like I said, I do want to get, like, some of the other stuff. Because then I can start throwing brutes and do stuff to them as we move forward. It's, it's going to be fun. Because then if you webbed up an enemy and you grab them and you throw them and they make contact with the with the wall or whatever, yeah, no, that counts. <laughs> oh man, that is, that is beautiful. Like, they end up automatically getting incapacitated. So, I'm going to uh, switch over to the social media feed, actually, 
because I forgot to show this off at the beginning. He actually has his own little social media thing. And as you progress through the story, there are, well, there's tweets or status updates or whatever. And these cover all sorts of things, incidental stuff and even plot relevant stuff, but it's not really important. It's just flavor text about the plot. I will be right back. Okay, I am back and ready to win the world. I see a shirtless man in shorts dance his way across the street near Times Square. Interesting way to start the day. Wow. Like to work but find a criminal wed to my car. Not having an excuse. Hashtag thanks, baby. Oh, Lord. My cats are stuck in a tree. Can you help? Did you say cats, plural? 
How many do you have? Yeah, so there's also some uh, little bits of story with some of the people on here too. So that's cool. No, for real. Uh, so, uh, anyway, yeah, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to try and hit up every single district this session. What? Yeah. Because I want to go ahead and get the backpacks. I mean, you don't have to because this will give you some stuff, excuse me, in between uh, your, uh, in between the, excuse me, dang it, I have hiccups now, in between the main story, so then you can actually just have a bit of a breather, go find some backpacks, uh, you know, do some of the side stuff, and then come back. So then, of course, you can set custom waypoints. So, boom, you can go wherever. This is home. So, let's take a look. Hey, that's actually what it comes down to. You know, like, it's not really about the money. It's about the investment and the, the, the thought behind it. At least that's what my parents taught me. They turned out all right. Until my dad passed away. So, yeah, but, you know, hey, yeah. Find something that keeps you going. For my mom, it was us. Oh, God, Peter. Why? Okay, and someone should have gotten hurt. Excuse you. No guns in New York City. What? Ow. Did get plugged. What the heck was that? Whoa. This guy, these are physics. So, yeah, while you're on street level, you can actually interact with, uh, yeah, you can actually interact with the civilians by pressing the action button, the square button. It's pretty cool. You just kind of walk around, you know, high five people if they call for it. And they'll even give you tips about small crimes. But you also want to be careful because apparently, yeah, Fisk still has guys loyal to him who will try to assassinate you out on the street.
Once we're ready, people. All right, so gonna go ahead and head to the backpacks so we can get that done. And yeah, tomorrow is the big game, so it's like, yeah. am I watching? Probably not. No, I might check in from time to time, but I'm not that big of a football guy. Good lord, how much? 2,366? What? Like, oh god, that is... Ooh. Medical. That sucks. Okay, so... Next backpack is over here. This is still more stuff with other people's uh, social media and all, and that's that's nice. There's a no, there's like stuff that happens with the plot and all, and that comes up as well. So people will talk about things that happen. Wait, there's an actual plot? Yeah. Fisk uh, was talking about like watch in one month you guys are going to regret me not uh, uh, me being incapacitated you know, uh, I'm like yeah probably Is there any reason for this? Um, yes. Yes, there is. So for the fact that, well, you kind of can't see it yet. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, people are getting, uh, yeah, you know, there were some people who complained about uh, the fact that there were pride flags uh, in the game. I'm like, okay, I'm not the, yeah, you know, I'm not a huge supporter of the LGBTQ uh, community, but shit, I'm not gonna sit and have a fit about it. Like, just shit, dude. Like, those people exist. They deserve the exact same kind of rights as you or me, and you know what? Hey, let them get married and have like uh, you know, and be able to also be miserable and shit, you know, <laughs> unhappily married, just just like the ones who actually do end up happily married, you know, and then be able to have like the um, that their partners be able to have the same kind of benefits and stuff. I guess, I don't know, it's like people talking about, oh, it's like to do marriage and this and the other, it's like, like, do you know, it's like, some people get married almost as much as Kim Kardashian did before she finally settled down. It's, it's not as special as y'all make it sound anymore. And now, honestly, a lot of that got so much put on it because... Now we gotta do it. We gotta we gotta do this and the other. You know, I gotta have my dowry and all that shit. And it's like, man, I mean, like, whatever. It's not going to belittle or demean your marriage. I mean, shit. It's, it's whatever. I don't care. I I went on about this way longer than I should have. Huh. Oops, my bad. So, we'll go through some of the rest of that and we will hit it. Oh my god, the text is way smaller now. Alright, see, so there's a thing here on the edge, and then there's another one here, and another one here, and then where are we going? We're going. 
wait a second, there's a wait zoom out. Yeah, there we go. So it's further south, right? I thought it was southbound. What? Okie doke. Um that's where we're going. I don't know, Stop. but Actually, go ahead and make something to eat. Which is odd because I've already done that. I don't know, but um, I don't know. Like to to cap off what I was saying about like the pride, uh, uh the pride flags, uh, in the game. It's like the fact that other people are sitting up, uh, having a fit that other people had a fit about them in the first place. You're giving people undue attention. You're feeding the trolls, basically, essentially, acknowledging the fact that, yeah, just, just no. Anyway, next backpack. So that's where we're going. Let's see. So we've already leveled. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. Go there and do stuff. Uh, you know, I need two in order to get those, two in order to get those, two in order to get those. So I have to start hitting up some levels. I might also want to go ahead and get this, uh, the second web zip. So yeah, try and work on this tree first so you can get your traversal. Um, as well as your air uh, game stepped up so then you can kind of come in with uh, either the defender tree if that's what you want to do or innovator either way you're going to be hitting up uh, some benefits from each of those oh crap okay so that's where the next thing is all right, but we're going to get the backpacks here and the rest of the... Pete, stop dying. <laughs> He's not dead yet. Welcome back. Ah. And then there will be uh, crimes that uh, that uh, that you have to like go and thwart. Although you don't have to. Oh, dog on it. Thank you. Ah, speaking of. It really is. Eh, yeah, going back to uh, Spider Verse. Spoilers, uh, if anybody hasn't seen it. Uh, yeah, Peter dies and all of New York mourns. Like, everybody's rocking Spider Man colors or Spider Man costumes, masks. You know, it's just like, damn, dude. Like, he gave his life for New York, and, oh, man, like, they, they showed their support and their appreciation. I better step in. Like, like, yeah, that don't say, like, I don't know what. Ow, dick. I mean, you know, there's some things that are kind of, like, questionable about the film, but for the most part, it's, like, it's not even that major for me to get ultimately really mad at and completely detract from the film. Like, the, uh, 
you know, the spider cave, if you want to call it that, under the, uh, under Aunt May's house. Like, yeah, that was dumb. But, you know, for the most part, I just, eh, I just moved on. It's like, the rest of the film in and of itself was still pretty good. Yeah, you know, I was able to kind of forgive that, unlike, uh, you know, some other people. I don't know if they're treating it as a, as a cardinal sin, uh, completely against the film, but... Mm. There we go. I think a lot of people did. Yep, and then in the original Civil War comic, he did reveal his identity because of the Registration Act. Then somebody went after him and his family, and well, he immediately regretted and decided to join the anti registration side. Oops. Yeah, I'm aware of some things in the comics. I have read up on some of the stuff. Not all, but some. Okay, there's a tower right here, though. They're going to keep doing this. Like, um, and time does not actually move right now. Like, it's going to stay sundown for as long as I'm playing. Until I move on to, like, the next plot point. Okay, so let's go on ahead and do this. I don't know, but yeah, seeing so, you know, that people were talking about forced diversity and this and that, but I I haven't actually read Ultimate Spider-Man, so I'm not entirely sure how they did exactly. But from what I've uh, from my research. It sounds like they incorporated Miles Morales into that narrative in a more organic way. Kind of like what they did with Spider-Verse as well. And, yeah, I mean, honestly, it doesn't really feel like they just threw in, like, this Afro-Latino kid to basically replace Spider-Man. They tried to come up with, um, with, like, an organic way of how he ended up uh, you know, in the spot that he did, at least in Spider Verse. But I don't know. But just going off of that, I'm, you know, like. I was also one of those people who's like, nah, this person is the only person, can't be anybody else. But, you know, like, that movie did help to sell me on Miles. So, yeah, no, I ain't mad. Let's see. Uh, let's go over here. Let's save this person. Yep. So you want to do these these crimes and whatnot and help people out. 